The King Must Die, 1958, a historical novel by Mary Renault, delves into the life story of Theseus, a renowned hero of Greek mythology. Renault masterfully constructs a realistic narrative, drawing upon historical context to present a plausible account that could have influenced the mythical tales that emerged. Theseus, now aged, serves as the narrator, recounting the significant events of his life. The story commences with Theseus' childhood, as he vividly describes the grandeur of his grandfather King Pythius' palace in Troizen. At the tender age of six, Theseus witnesses a disturbing ritual, the sacrificial slaughter of a magnificent horse. Intrigued by the ceremony, Theseus engages in a conversation with his grandfather, who reveals that in ancient times, kings were expected to offer their lives alongside such sacrifices to appease the gods. Even in the present era, the king must be prepared to make the ultimate sacrifice for the welfare of his people. Later, Theseus finds himself serving in the temple of Poseidon, where he spends three formative years of his life. During this period, he experiences a foreboding premonition, which is soon followed by a powerful earthquake that rocks the city. King Pythius interprets this event as a sign that the gods have granted Theseus the ability to protect their subjects. When Crete dispatches ships to Troizen to collect children for the perilous bull-dancing tribute to Minos, Theseus questions his grandfather about their compliance with such a gruesome practice. Pythius, acknowledging their powerlessness against the might of Crete, sends Theseus away to spare him from the impending fate. Like many Greek youths, Theseus trains in the art of wrestling. Although initially disadvantaged due to his small and slender frame, Theseus adapts his techniques to overcome his physical limitations. When Theseus comes of age at 17, his mother reveals a secret, he will only learn the identity of his true father if he can lift a massive stone located in the grove of Zeus. Despite failing in his initial attempts, Theseus ingeniously employs a lever to raise the stone, unveiling a sword and a pair of sandals concealed beneath it. Pythius discloses that Theseus is the rightful heir to the throne of Athens, born to the king himself. Motivated by his newfound knowledge, Theseus embarks on a perilous journey to Athens, braving treacherous routes teeming with bandits. Along the way, he arrives in the city of Eleusis, renowned for its annual sacrificial offering of the king to the gods as a tribute. And thus, Theseus's enthralling odyssey unfolds, filled with trials, discoveries, and his inexorable rise to legendary status as the heir to the Athenian throne. Upon his arrival in the city, Theseus encounters Queen Persephone, who informs him that he must engage in a wrestling match with the king, whose fate is to perish on that very day. Theseus grapples with the king, initially finding himself overpowered until Persephone and a group of women beseech the gods for assistance. Empowered by their chant, Theseus triumphs over the king, becoming the year king and marrying Persephone. However, as the year king, his authority is temporary, and true power lies in the hands of the queen. Theseus, aware of his limited influence, begins to devise a plan to undermine the queen's rule. He builds a network of support and endeavors to showcase his capabilities through various endeavors, hoping to sway the people to favor him as their leader, thus securing his own survival. His first undertaking involves clearing the roads of bandits, demonstrating his commitment to protecting the kingdom. Despite repeated assassination attempts by Persephone's brother, Xanthos, Theseus emerges unscathed and eventually slays him in a duel. Driven by his quest for power and legitimacy, Theseus sets off on a journey to Athens to meet his father, King Aegeus. Initially, Aegeus does not recognize his long-lost son, but his wife, Medea, discerns Theseus's identity and fearing her own sons will lose their claim to the throne. She manipulates Aegeus into attempting to poison Theseus. In a critical moment, Aegeus recognizes Theseus's distinctive sword and knocks the poisoned cup away, sparing his life. He banishes Medea and her children and proclaims Theseus as his rightful heir. The narrative then shifts to the arrival of the Cretans, demanding children for their sacrificial bull dance. Displaying his ingenuity and invoking the will of the gods, Theseus volunteers to take the place of one of the children, asserting that it is their divine destiny. To increase their chances of survival, Theseus unites the sacrificed children, erasing the boundaries between their separate kingdoms and forming them into a cohesive team called the Cranes. Upon their arrival in Crete, a delegation from the palace meets Theseus and the Cranes. Unaware that they understand Greek, Theseus inadvertently insults King Minos's son, Asterion. 
Consequently, Theseus and the Cranes are escorted to the palace, known as the Labyrinth, by the Cretans. It is within this labyrinthine palace that Theseus encounters Ariadne, a priestess, and experiences an intense attraction towards her. The bull dancers enjoy their freedom to roam and train, and Theseus witnesses numerous love affairs flourishing among them. However, after a tragic death occurs during a bull dance performance, Theseus demands that the cranes swear an oath not to sacrifice one another for survival. Remarkably, the team manages to endure for three months, setting a new record. Theseus becomes a celebrated figure, but he becomes disenchanted with the decadent and corrupt society of Crete. During his time in Crete, Theseus encounters Phaedra, the young daughter of the king, and expresses his intentions of becoming a king himself and marrying her if he survives. Theseus dispatches a message to his father, King Aegeus, informing him of Crete's vulnerability and begins organizing the cranes for a rebellion. Exploring the maze beneath the palace, Theseus stumbles upon a cache of weapons and encounters Ariadne, with whom he initiates a passionate affair. Ariadne reveals to Theseus that Asterion, her half-brother, is making him sick and plotting to seize power. At the request of King Minos, Theseus kills him, but Asterion delays the announcement while amassing support and funds for his own bid for power. Asterion attempts to sabotage the bull dance in an effort to eliminate Theseus, but fails in his endeavor. In a final confrontation, Theseus confronts and slays Asterion, just as he is about to be anointed as the new king. Together with the Cranes and Ariadne, Theseus embarks on a journey towards Greece, making a stop at Naxos, where Theseus anticipates the imminent sacrifice of the king. Against Theseus's wishes, Ariadne attends the ceremony and upon her return, he suspects that she has been drugged and violated. Ensuring Ariadne's well-being, Theseus decides to leave her behind and continues his journey with the cranes. Upon his return to Athens, Theseus discovers that his father has taken his own life, making Theseus the rightful heir to the throne. I hope you enjoyed this video, leave a like if you did, and be sure to subscribe thank you.